Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And as you can see here guys, I have today a very special unboxing. This is of the, as you see here, the A-Zone. And it's a LED solar motion sensing lamp. And it basically has ingress protection. And we'll talk about this in a minute. But of course, I want to thank the guys over at A-Zone for sending this over for review. And I must say, this is my first um, solar LED um, motion detecting um, light. And we have done other lights on this channel and of course we're going to see how this one holds up in comparison to those all right so let's go straight into the product review all right so um the device here features um ip66 water grade resistance and of course it basically has a replaceable lithium battery and explosion proof so that's always good to know its light time in week mode is 40 hours very impressive of course rechargeable by sunlight for storing power and it basically has easy installation all right so on the side of the box you see the same information and it says it's applicable to places such as your um porch corridor streets basically garden etc lighting time for the week light more than 40 hours so on the basic settings it will be very very good uh, we have some um, information over here on the product says um, LED motion sensing lamp and of course over here again you can see the information and it's applicable and so on around here you can see the power rating and so on solar panel it says um, it's all here you can read there it gives you the milliamp hours 1500 at 3.7 volts LED power 5 watt and it basically has a delay time of 15 to 20 seconds it says switch on and off um, basically for human body Reduction, high light, weak light, and of course, there's um, the product weight, 370 grams, working temperature 10 to 60 degrees C, housing material, plastic. See the information here, made in China. Alright, so we're going to go straight into this, guys. We're going to open this up. So right away, I'm just going to uh, slide this section up. There we go. So we have some um, shipping information here. I'm just going to remove that. And here's the product itself. Alright, so you can see this is the basics and you can see right here it gives you the information on the IP66 rating and you can see a preview of the product right there and it gives us a breakdown it shows you installation we have the solar panel we have a power button behind the solar panel we have the brackets for installation LED lights it shows you the per sensor the um, fix holes the cushion or backing and of course there's the mounting screws and all that and it shows you how to install right here and it gives you some ideas as to what to avoid in terms of making sure that you actually get um, sunlight and it goes into further information and adjustments and i won't go into all of this i'm just glancing through we have some uh, very important information here so this aside for now box is basically empty here we have the star of the show right here which is the um, LED solar um, motion sensing lamp from um, a zone and I'll put this to the side and right away I'm sure you must be thinking there must be a mistake as this looks just like a camera and of course you're right because I'm um, seeing this for the first time I automatically thought that it must have been a um, a camera of some sort but of course it's a solar light it's creatively designed i'm sure it does the battery on the inside here but it does look a lot like a camera you see the solar cell right here i like it. it's very thick you can see the um, photoreceptive cells on the back here you can see the power on and off and of course there's the information from a zone here it gives you the model and the color you can always check that out and of course on the front right here you can see the device again and i like that it looks so much like a camera um, it's great as a dummy camera so you do get that feature you can adjust here and of course pivot the solar cells to pick up as much light as possible and as i was saying before the sensor is right here to pick up motion and it will turn on accordingly and of course you can see the adjustments at the back here and this section can be adjusted it can be pivoted and it can be positioned to the perfect um position to make sure that you're picking up enough light best thing of all guys is that it's independent meaning 
you never have to worry about um, this particular device being connected to an outlet as it will work by itself once it picks up enough light what's gonna happen is that it will shine itself so you just basically have to just um, install this once you install it you're good to go as it will work in um, power in and light I'd advise that it's fully charged so you can place it in a position where you can pick up enough sunlight um, so it must be optimum lit meaning you cannot place this in a shaded area you'll make the adjustment make sure it's getting as much direct sunlight meaning the light is shining directly on these sensors and what will happen it will charge this um, for the first day or so you should make sure that it gets a full day of charge once it gets that full day of charge, you'll find out that once the light is turned on, it should be good enough to supply um, power. And then you should see once there is motion, this will turn on. Best of all, it doesn't depend on your power at home. So once this is powered, whether it's um, lights out or if power is cut to the house, you still will have um, power in those cases. And I like that as it's a great backup in case you have a power outage um of course guys you should also realize that um as i said it's a dummy camera so somebody might just think that this is a camera and of course they might just be in a case that it can add to boost your security in that it's mixed in with your regular camera so you can tell what is a camera from what is not which might um, deter some um, burglars all right so so far i've liked this product Next, I'm going to show you this in working condition after, if I can, when it's powered up and um, lighting, which is always great to see. All right, guys, there's a few notes. Um, I forgot that it does come with mounting screws. So these are brackets for the wall with the mounting screws. So that's standard, which is nice. Put this away. Um, next thing, guys, this will need to be powered for two days out of the box in direct sunlight. So you can place this in anywhere there's highly reflective surfaces or so on need to be placed in the detection zone meaning the detection zone should have um, adequate lights in the day so this can charge for two days and do not turn it on until it has been charged for those two days so basically install and allow for it to absorb um, light before turning it on which is always um, very important that you know um, it doesn't state the lumens in terms of max intensity but of course, I'll show you that later on. I'll talk about the brightness itself. And also, um, it's very important too that they may note that, um, that when this is turned on, it comes on for a few seconds on intense brightness. Then it basically goes to a reduced brightness. And then if no more motion is detected, it basically turns off. So, so far, very, very, very good. Um, I'm very impressed with what I see. So next is just to test this out to see if it actually lives up to the hype or um, in terms of what it can deliver all right guys just a few notes about the a zone um a zone led solar motion sensing light um first of all i must say um it does take two days to charge so i didn't turn it on until after two days and one of the first things i notice is that as soon as it gets dark enough the lights do come on in dim mode um, dim mode is very nice it lasts all night and of course as soon as motion is detected it turns on and goes to very bright now of course um, in terms of lumens it's around 800 lumen lumens there about meaning it's not as bright as a fully powered um light or floodlight but it does produce enough light to light up a driveway or beneath a passage or door doorway or so on so i suggest that you select very carefully where you actually place this device um first of all i must say it that as if you stay in the area it will stay um lit uh, you have to actually position and um, placement needs to be correct. So you might need a secondary person to actually position while you test it out to make sure that it's coming on as it should. Um, but overall, guys, I must say that the brightness is not bad. Um, it works quite nicely a, at 800 lumens or so. It's not um, bad. It's enough to see it light up an area so you can figure out if somebody's in an area. So in those regards, it works very well. I like that the charge is very efficient once you place the panel at the right place as per the instructions. So overall, I like this device. Works quite nicely. Um, I love that it doesn't require any power. So you can actually place this to the side of a house or so on. You'll find that it works very nice. So no extra routing of wires or cables and so on. So that's a plus. 
um, the housing is very um, durable. Um, next, it charges very efficiently. I basically just choose the right position and I leave it. I don't have to actually worry about that later on. And of course, these are very um, affordable and very efficient in terms of power in that they do not use a lot of power. Um, the fact that it stays in basic mode and then later on it switches to IB based on what's going on would mean that it's um, very selective in times that it turns on at max bright so it can afford to be um, a mix of being decently bright to being low light all right so that's about it guys so i just want to point out those things so this has been ricardo garden with a review of this product same by the next time bye